Hi, I'm Tom and in this video I will show you how the Draft Offset tool works. This tool is part of the Draft Workbench and is placed on the Draft Modification Toolbar. I'm using FreeCAD 1.0 in this video. So to offset to the objects, I've got a line prepared here, so I will select the line and fire up the Draft Offset tool and now you can see that if I'm moving my mouse either on one side or on the other side of the line uh, I see the preview of how the offset will look like and if I click I created the offset line. The important thing to note is if I select this line and I will offset it again important thing to note is whether you have copy option checked I had it checked, so I created a copy of the original line. If I uncheck it, and I'm offsetting this line, and I would click here, I created a, an offset line, but I deleted the original line. So probably most of the time you would want to have the copy checked. Now previously I created the offset by clicking in the 3D view. I can also create the offset by typing in the distance. I will check copy and here you can see the distance field. Uh, I have to place my mouse on the side of the line that I want to create the offset on and I just type in the distance that I want the offset to be. So I will type in 5, hit enter and the new line is created 5 uh, millimeters or 5 units from the original one. So again, if I wanted to create offset on the other side 10 millimeters, I will select the line, hit offset, point my, my mouse here, and while hovering my mouse here, I will type in 10, hit enter, and this is offset 10. So what I will also show you, I will unclick, so I have got nothing, nothing selected previously. I was using the tool by first selecting the line and then firing up the tool. I can also have nothing selected. If I have not, nothing selected and fire up the tool, FreeCAD will ask me to select the object to offset. So now I select the line. Now I continue as I did previously, uh, click where I want to have the offset or type in the distance. Now let's take a look at some advanced options. So if I want multiple, create multiple offsets, I can fire up the tool and if I hit Alt key and now I click, I still hold the Alt key. I don't see anything, but if I click here again, click here again and click fourth time here and now if I release Alt key, you can see that I have created four, uh, four offsets. So this is for creating more offset objects at once. And what is very useful is if I wanted to create offset of this line in relation to some other object in my drawing. So for instance, I've got this wire here and I wanted to create offset of this line that would be here at the exact level of the endpoint of this object. So I will select this line, choose offset, and now it's important that you have snapping turned on and I will snap to endpoint and also to midpoint because I will use that uh, in a bit. And now if I want to have this line at this level, I will move my mouse here and when the endpoint is selected, I will hold shift key. And now if I move my mouse here and click, I have snapped to the endpoint and locked the endpoint position. So again, if I wanted to have the offset of this line at the midpoint, I will select this line, start offset command. Now move my mouse so the midpoint is selected, hit shift and you can see if I move my mouse here, click, I was locked into the midpoint. So this is very useful and let's take a look. Up until now I was offsetting just a single line. Now let's take a look at, uh, I've got a wire here. If I offset this wire, 
the whole wire will be offset either on one side or on the other side. So if I click here, you can see that the wire is offset like this. If the wire has some uh, chamfered edges, these will be also offset. So if I offset it here, you can see that the, the preview is not looking too good. But if I click, the offset is created correctly. Now, if the wire is closed, this is example of a rectangle. If I offset it, I can create, create the offset outside or inside. And if I click, I created the offset outside. And uh, I can also select still, select the distance uh, by typing in the number. So if I choose my direction and type in the distance, let's say one millimeter, it will create one millimeter offset from the rectangle. The same, the circle works exactly the same as the rectangle. Now here, I've got a B-spline, which seems to work. If I create an offset, it created another, I'm not sure if it's another B-spline, but the distances of the B-splines are not equidistant all, equidistant all around the B-spline. So basically offsetting B-spline is not supported by draft offset and you should use part offset 2D for uh, offsetting B splines. The same is the same is for uh, for Bezier curves which are not supported. You will be you will be warned that this is not supported and for Bezier curves you should also use part uh, offset 2D tool. Now, let's take a look at the last option that we've got with offset. So I've got another rectangle here. If I uh, start to offset it and I will use the OCC style offset, this one creates round edges at the corners. So if I create the offset like this, it will create round edges. So this is what the OCC style offset means it can create them uh, it can create them in uh, not sure. okay okay yeah the OCC style offset if the wire is closed you can create the offset only on the outside of the of the closed wire and if the wire is not closed the host like this one this is a polyline the OCC style offset creates offset on both sides of the of the wire and creates these round edges and round uh, uh, round makes makes uh, arcs around the a ends of the wire. Okay, so this is all about the draft offset tool. I hope it was useful and I will see you in the next one.